Hi, I'm Ali and a warm welcome to Face Yoga Master. So I thought in today's video I would show you how to actually help reduce those pesky fine lines and wrinkles, the crow's feet. I'm going to do a few exercises and some face tapping and then I'm going to finish with the all-important lymphatic drainage release massage. This will actually also help reduce the toxins we've moved around the face into the body ready for the elimination. So what I like to do first is to sit down with my feet firmly on the ground, back nice and straight, shoulders nice and relaxed. I wash my fingers, my hands, and as you can see, I have no product on my face whatsoever, on my skin. Now I'm going to use a face cream for this today, but I'm also going to use a little bit of oil, some slip, just for when we do the lymphatic drainage release. So I'm just going to first of all just add a little bit of oil. If you haven't got a facial oil, you could use something like your face cream or a form of serum. I'm just going to rub it in and just gently place it just on the side of the neck and by the sides of the ears. Then once we've done that, I'm going to take my eye cream. Now the one I'm using today is one called Silkin and it doesn't contain all the nasties. I do try to use organic when I can and plant-based. So I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger and just rub that in. Actually what I will do is we're going to use our ring finger rather than any of the other fingers because the eye area here is very delicate and the skin is extremely fine. And by using the ring finger, we don't apply too much pressure. So first of all, we just tap it in all along the eye area. So under the eyes. Now you don't want to go above the bone at this point. So just, you can touch where the bone is, but don't go any further. And then this will act, and then start to tap. This will actually help with the collagen and elastin especially on the areas where we're prone to crow's feet. Obviously, if you, the more you smile, the more crow's feet develops. Um, the older you are, the less collagen production we have. So that's why we end up getting these lines and wrinkles by the sides of the face and the eyes. So we're just tapping that in and then we're just going to now just tap from the middle and then just work our way out. And then from the middle and tap out and we'll do it one last time tap with our ring finger now if you do have long nails you can always use your knuckles but again just be very mindful and careful not to tap too harsh then we're going to take our ring finger and we're just going to just gently glide from the side to the outside very very lightly and we're going to do this five times. So that's a count of three. Now you can do this morning and evening. The more often you do it, obviously, the faster the results. Now we're going to take our ring fingers and I'm going to place one here to support the skin. And I'm just gently going to move down and you're literally ironing out any wrinkles you have at the sides and then place a hold on the other side and then just again go up and then we're going to go to the other side hold here and just go down then hold here and then start to work our way up now you can do this alternate those two or three times Again, I'm just going to very lightly just glide my fingers to from the central point here to the temples. This will just help with the lymphatic release, so removing the toxins. This will actually also help if you have any puffy eyes as well. And then we're just going to just above the eyes here, under the eyebrows, very, very gently, close the eyes and move that across to the temples. Again, up and gently move. We'll do this another three times. And last time. 
and then just circle in round circular motions very lightly and again just move across and then once we've done that we're going to take our fingers and we're just just gently in a round circle motion go from the side of our head the temples all the way down and a bit further down to the ears then we're going to go up the ear come across to the back of the ear now at this point we are releasing any toxins we've moved within the face so you may want to swallow at this point and again we'll go up and back of the ear so once we've got to the back of the ear we want to take our hands and we just want to gently massage the back of the neck and we want it so that eventually our fingers actually are actually touching and then once our fingers are touching we just want to gently just in a light sweeping motion move from the back of the ear to the side of the neck to the collarbone and then from our chin all the way down either side on our collarbone we have two points here and you just want to just very gently press those in what this will do this will allow all the toxins we've moved around the face the eye area into the body ready for elimination this will actually help with brighter eyes any puffiness and also, you know, we've done lots of collagen and elastin uh, exercises. So I have done other playlists if you'd like to look at those. Again, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, like and share and a big thumbs up. And I really look forward to seeing you in the next one. OK, bye.